Hello preppers, welcome back to Goshen Prepping. Happy December to you. All right, something we need to look at in space weather news, specifically the sun, and it's something we need to look at, not be alarmed, just be observant and check out just in case. First up, look at this, spaceweatherlive.com. I've referenced this before on the channel and it is something you need to take a look at, you need to subscribe, and there's an app as well. Make sure you have the app because it's going to help you out as far as giving you live alerts. But specifically, I want to point right here. A trans-equatorial coronal hole was detected in an Earth-facing position on Monday, today. And here's the picture of this guy. So here's our beautiful sun. Right here, here is that giant coronal hole. Trans-equatorial means it's right on the equator, pointing right toward Earth. And this giant hole, simply put, puts out tons of solar radiation. Think of it that way. And since it's trans-equatorial and facing Earth, it's sending all these solar winds to Earth. Now, a coronal mass ejection, as we're in a solar maximum right now, has much more devastating results. Puts out so much energy, it could literally crash our entire system. But these holes, when you look at these coronal holes, they're nothing to basically just shake at and say it's no big deal. They definitely cause problems. And when it comes to prepping and preparedness, well, as you may see problems in the next couple of days, within 20, 48 hours, we'll know. And if that, it's a good rehearsal because if a CME, a coronal mass ejection does erupt, you're going to see the same problems, except obviously much more exacerbated. All right, so what do you see? First off, the cool part is more auroras. I always like seeing the northern lights. I'm sure you do too. But there's effects that we can see with this on satellites. Satellites can literally be disrupted. They, because of their orbit near the ionosphere, as all this radiation hits the Earth, the Earth is covered by a huge belt of ions, charged particles, ionosphere and it becomes moved and charged. And that's where the problem comes in, by the way. The ionosphere protects us, but if anything shifts the ionosphere, like for example, a major coronal mass ejection, the whole ionosphere shifts, oh boy, major problems on Earth, especially like through our power grid, causing massive currents to your home and destroying a lot of electronics that are plugged in and such. That's not today's video. That's not what's happening with this coronal hole. But we do see things like disruptions to radio communication. We were seeing this a lot lately, by the way. Even problems with your GPS system, oh, that's not good, and possibly even power grid disruptions. Is it going to happen? Maybe not. But it's a good rehearsal for us because as preppers, we use these things to be able to learn. And that's the moral of today's story. Now, do we have to be prepared for this one? Sure, we may have some problems with it. So when we see problems in the radio communication, have alternate ways to communicate. When we see problems with GPS, get out those good old-fashioned maps, your road atlas. I used to love using those, and I've find that my skills in that are not what they used to be as a kid. I love doing everything by maps. We had to by then, right? Not anymore. But with that specifically, I still love reading maps to be able to go through it. And of course, always have backups for power. Look, we today's Cyber Monday. Instead of putting a video out about this, EcoFlow is having some major sales on you know, their solar generators. And so other ones, I'll link those below if you want to check them out. But that's not what today's video is. Today's video is getting prepared because here's one more thing too, by the way. And this is... Um, I don't know, a lot of problems with this next part. There, there's a lot of skeptics out there and there's a lot of uh, confrontation because some scientists say this happens and some scientists say that don't. But when you see these huge coronal holes and it puts out a lot of solar wind causing disruptions to the ionosphere, there's a lot of scientists say this is actually what triggers earthquakes. So listen, I'm not a seismologist. I'm certainly not a person to give you that expert opinion. But I will tell you that if I was in an earthquake zone, it's something I would at least take a look at. So space, space weather is huge because our sun plays a huge influence on us and basically what we have to prepare for because that's what we are. are we're preppers and we have to be ready for all contingencies. And when we see these huge coronal holes heading toward Earth, it's a perfect drill to be ready. Something may happen in the next 48 hours. I don't think it's going to be huge if it is, but that does prepare us for something even more catastrophic that could come like a coronal mass ejection because, again, we are in a solar maximum. What are you preparing for this? Are you ready for all the different things when you look at GPS, when you look at your grid being down, radio communication loss, or even earthquakes? Put it in the comments below. Tell me how you're prepared for that. And as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.